The Secret of the Bursting Pots A long time ago, in the distant past, trade routes crisscrossed the Czech lands. They were used to transport spices, furs, amber and many other valuable goods. This of course attracted those who wanted to get rich quickly and easily at someone else's expense, which is why merchants always had to be on the lookout for such traps and robbers, especially in deep forests and ravines. Prague merchant André had already undertaken many journeys. This time he knew that he had set out on his last. He wanted to wed off his daughter in a good match, which is why he put everything he had into his final transaction. For tins and furs, he bought several carriages of salt in the east, which he planned to sell for a good price in Prague. Only fate dealt him a blow just at the moment he had most of the journey behind him and was traveling through the Czech highlands. His trading caravan was attacked by bandits as it approached a bridge across the Yihlava River. The horses got spooked, overturned the wagons, and a great amount of the valuable shipment was dissolved in the river. Even the desperate André threw himself into the river to at least save his own life. The current carried him far from the sight of the robbery until, unconscious, he floated into one of the river's coves, near which Zdeslav the potter lived in a dilapidated cottage in a clearing. He used to be a craftsman known far and wide, and his goods sold like hotcakes. He would dig clay in the banks near the river, only in recent years his jugs, cups and bowls began to burst in his kiln. He tried everything, but the products would always fall apart into tiny bits. Desperate, Zdeslav finally exchanged his pottery wheel for a fishing net, and it was in this net that he just found the unexpected catch of the badly battered and half-drowned André. Zdeslav cared for him devotedly for several days, watching over him even at night and anxiously waiting to see if André would recover from his high fevers. When in the end André recovered after all, he thanked the potter for everything and asked what he could do to repay him. Zdeslav told him of his troubles. The merchant asked Zdeslav to show him the shards that remained of his goods. He spent a long time examining them, turning them over in his fingers, looking at the sharp edges. Then he came into the cottage and went right to the kiln. With several blows of a hammer, he broke it apart, right before the eyes of the horrified potter. Inside, beneath the grill, something shone. It was a piece of silver the size of a man's hand. The surprised Deslav now understood why his work wasn't going well. The clay contained that precious metal that always melted in the heat of the kiln. The silver would then run out and pile up on the bottom of the kiln. André did not hesitate and quickly found miners experienced in silver extraction and mining rapidly began to be established in the area. From that time onward, Zdeslav no longer had to fear for his livelihood and André found the best husband for his daughter. To commemorate this moment, they both built a small church near the site of the first find and around it, a town grew up, which is named after the local river, Yehlava. Similar stories have taken place many times over in Bohemia. In Kutna Hora and also in Yachimov, where several coins called tolars were minted. It is after these coins that the world's most common currency, the American dollar, is named. The silver riches of Yehlava are long gone. Gorgeous nature, many beautiful monuments and people just as skillful and tough as the merchant André and Potter Zdeslav remain. This story from long ago, moreover, reminds us today that the greatest treasure is a good heart and everything bad is good for something.